The ancient land of Yemen is known more today for its fight against poverty, tribalism and terrorism. Perhaps it's not the best place for an American couple to build a house. But that's what scholars Stephen and Kate Steinbeiser recently did, giving themselves the added challenges of making it environmentally sustainable in a traditional Jewish design, primarily out of mud. When we first started, the neighbors around us, who generally have more modern homes that is built in cement, kind of made fun of me as the foreigner, new to the block and not knowing what I was doing. Undaunted, Steinbeiser, the resident director of the American Institute for Yemeni Studies, hired architect Abdullah al-Hadrami. Together, they devised a plan showcasing Yemeni craftsmanship while paying homage to this Sana'a quarter's once vibrant, now dispersed Jewish presence. A brave statement in a country al-Qaeda calls home. It was all done by hand. And so, there, for example, there were three workers who cut 2,240 stones from basically these kind of uh, bizarre shapes into more or less square. So this is kind of a simplified version of a more traditional lock. All the metalwork is handmade by a blacksmith in Old Sana'a. And there's actually a hidden latch here that allows this to come up from the bottom and for the door to open. Um, Yemenis are very clever with locks. Did I yell at you? I don't think I yelled at you ever. There's a traditional mafraj, or room to chew cut, a national pastime. We don't use it as foreigners. We don't really use it for chewing cut, but most Yemenis do. And the point is that you're at a high point, you know, of a city or a place, and you're surrounded by windows so you can look out. And this is actually individual mud brick. You the main feature, though, from traditional Yemeni architecture is the use of mud, mud bricks, mud plaster, with in some places a coating of animal fat to seal it tight. This room is a very cool room of the house, especially in the summer. Mud architecture has that effect. It, it, it's basically a type of insulation that allows temperature to remain constant. Not only does the mud make air conditioning unnecessary, it offered another benefit during the tumultuous uprising of last year. My Yemeni friends would reassure me by saying, well, you know, if there's a bullet that goes through the wall or something, it's not a big deal. It's mud, you just patch it over and, uh, and it's fine. Few foreigners have stayed during the hard times, and for honoring Yemen's past, the Steinbeisers have changed their neighbors' opinions. When they saw the finished product and they saw that it was really kind of a testament to Yemeni craftsmanship, Yemeni ingenuity, and Yemeni heritage, um, they fell in love with it. The house is also a commitment to Yemen's future, a small promise of continuity and self-reliance in a country struggling to find its way. Elizabeth Arrett, VOA News. Yeah, I'm